Hi, I'm Jack, WAAQ again, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, Yesu VX7R, actually VX7RB in my case, and the Miracle Whip. I know the Miracle Whip is, you know, there are all kinds of feelings on whether it does the job or not, but what we're going to look at today is how to use the Miracle Whip to really sort of expand the VX7R's receive capabilities on short wave. You know, a lot of us use the uh, VX7, obviously, for, uh, for an HT, for communication, nice try, or actually quadbander. But it also has capabilities to be pretty, pretty decent short wave receiver. So we're going to take a look today at how to really use the Miracle Whip to sort of add on to what is a very limited, obviously, uh, receive capability for the uh, VX7R with the little uh, little antenna that's on it uh, as it comes from the factory. So let's take a look at that now. All right, the little VX7R you've got, this is on uh, 9 megas, almost 10 megacycles, 9.975. Obviously, uh, if I stop talking here, we're getting some sort of signal, but there's nothing, nothing really major. We're uh, fairly minimal, about halfway up the scale. And this is the little Miracle Whip uh, antenna. This, uh, again, you know, sort of mixed reviews on how it works as far as uh, transmittability. I've, I've done some things on 20 and uh, 40 meters, some QSOs in there, but I found it really beneficial as a receive antenna for short wave, and we're going to see why. On this, you see, I've added this little coupler here. This little coupler is a couple bucks at Radio Shack, and you'll see why here in just a second. All right, through the magic of video, we've gotten the Yesu VX7 and the Miracle Whip here, sort of laying down on the ground, so it's about the worst place you're ever going to want to get a receive a signal, but we're going to do it this way anyway, make it difficult. What I'm going to do now is connect this uh, alligator clip to the coupler, antenna coupler of the Miracle Whip. We've tuned the coupler to about uh, just under 10 megacycles, which is where we uh, had our signal, minimal signal coming in from the shortwave broadcaster. Okay, this is, and as you see, we now have, this is with a Miracle Whip line, and we've got, basically we've pegged the meter, that 9.975 shortwave broadcaster, and the antenna is lying on the ground. Is that amazing or what? Bring the Miracle Whip up, the way you would normally do, and all of a sudden, take a look at the signal. Well, we will if we get out of the shadow. We're absolutely, absolutely pegged. Basically, we're using this little Miracle Whip to improve our short wave reception. The advantage of the Miracle Whip, from what I can tell, over the, uh, just a plain old uh, wire, is we're able to basically tune this. You tune this away, and you're hearing the signal really get down to what it would be with a random wire. Tuning up to just under 10 megacycles, megahertz, I'm sorry, I'm an old guy. Remember I started shortwave listening back in the, the early 60s. And we've got a nice signal. Again, and this is with a Miracle Whip laying on the ground in my front yard. So you be the judge. In my opinion, it does uh, does help the receive capability of the little VX7R if you want to spend some time on shortwave listening, as I do. And, uh, you know, you decide. Is the Miracle Whip worth it uh, for that? I can't say. You know, I mean, it's uh, for transmission, it's marginal. It's an inside antenna. But uh, out here, it seemed to help a lot when I wanted to use my uh, VX7R to sort of play around in shortwave bands, something I've done, as I said, since 1964. And that's it for, uh, for this particular video. I'm Jack, WAQ. Take care. 73.